In this equation, we have H2S plus O2, and we're getting water plus SO2. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. Hydrogen, we got two of those. Sulfur, one. Oxygen, two. Over on the product side, we have the two hydrogens. We have one sulfur. We have one oxygen. Make sure you count these two here as well, because we have a total of three oxygen atoms on the product side of the equation. Why don't we get this three to an even number? Because we're gonna to have to do that if we wanna get our oxygen here to balance. We could put a two in front of the H2O. That would change our hydrogens. We have two times two. That'll give us four hydrogens. Sulfur stay the same. Let's update the oxygens. So now we have the one times the two, that's two oxygens, plus these two oxygens over here. So now we have four oxygens. That might make things a little bit easier to balance. But let's fix our hydrogens. So we have four here and two here. We'll put a two in front of the H2S. So two times two, that gives us four. So the hydrogens are balanced. For the sulfur, we have the one times the two. That'll give us two sulfur atoms. So right now, we have sulfur, two, and one. Oh, and the oxygens, they are not balanced. We have four and two. Why don't we just fix the sulfurs by putting a two in front of the SO2, at one times two. That fixed the sulfurs, and now we need to update our oxygens again. So for oxygens, you have the one times the two, that gives us two of those, plus two times two is four. So we have six oxygen atoms. Well, that's easy enough to fix. We could just put a coefficient of three here, because two times three, that equals six. And now everything's the same on both sides of the equation, so it's balanced. The trick here probably to start out, get an even number of oxygens by multiplying the water by two, and then things will kind of fall in place as you move through the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2S plus O2 yields H2O plus SO2. And thanks for watching.